Whether you're in her class at Peloton Studios London. Take it up, let's go, come on. Or riding along from the comfort of your own home, Leanne Hainsby's positive outlook on life is clear. The sparkly fitness bubble is a feeling, we're in it. But last summer, her life was turned upside down by an unsettling discovery. I felt what honestly felt like a golf ball on the side of my left breast. I knew immediately that it was breast cancer. Since she was only 34 and had no family history of breast cancer, her doctor wasn't concerned. She basically told me that it was a hormonal cyst and that there was nothing to worry about. But her anxiety continued to rise, so Leanne decided to get a second opinion. She too said, after kind of initial assessment, that there was nothing to worry about, but because I was there, she'd do an ultrasound and a mammogram. Those tests confirmed what Leanne had feared. It was breast cancer, and it was aggressive. Everything just stopped. But hearing my mum and my fiancé get so upset was kind of a moment that I won't forget soon. She started 12 weeks of chemotherapy, and through it all, even on her toughest days, she continued teaching classes. I wanted to have a moment in my day, a moment in my week where I felt like me. I didn't feel like a cancer patient. And now Leanne is sharing her story with the world, writing, nobody wants to be sat in a room and told they have cancer, and yet I've always felt one of the lucky ones. Finding the sparkle in a dark time. <laughs> Inspiring others, both on and off the bike. And we're so delighted to have you with us, Leanne. Good morning. Good morning. Wow, oh. that is crazy to watch that back. Mm -hmm. You've been through a lot. How yeah. are you feeling this morning? I'm feeling good. I'm feeling positive. I'm feeling like I'm learning to trust my body again. I'm finding my feet. I'm, I have a totally new perspective mm. on life and it feels freeing. Mm. You know, this is a real lesson in trusting yourself. Yeah. And I think many of us have thought at some point or another, this doesn't feel right, but the doctor will say, you're fine, you're yeah. fine. So you say, well, that person knows more than me. What was it in you that made you say, I'm, I've got to, there's actually something here and I'm positive of it. I really trust my body. Before mm -hmm. I was a Peloton instructor, I was a professional dancer for mm -hmm. 12 plus years. Mm -hmm. And I just, I knew mm -hmm. it was a gut feeling and I trusted that gut mm -hmm. feeling. The first time that I was checked and they told me it was a hormonal cyst, mm -hmm. they said to come back in 28 days, which is typically a menstrual cycle, mm -hmm. and to see if there had been any change. But during that time, there was no change. And it's easy to, you know, mm -hmm. you, you don't want it to be bad news. Right. So it's easy to say, mm -hmm. I won't get it checked. But you're just delay. If something is wrong, you're just delaying right. that knowledge. And that knowledge is power. Mm -hmm. If people take nothing else, I hope they really hear that you have to trust yourself, trust mm -hmm. your body, yeah. trust your gut. Mm -hmm. It made the difference for you. You've been through chemo, you've had um, mm -hmm. surgery. Yeah. I can't believe you still taught your mm -hmm. class in the midst of that. <laughs> why, why was that important for you and how did you do that? It was one of the most important things to me. And the reason is, I think it is so important to do things that make you feel like you, mm -hmm. to have small goals. You have to go one step at a time. Treatment can be so overwhelming. Mm -hmm. And to have a moment in my day, a moment in my week, where I felt like me, where I could do my hair and my makeup and move my body. Moving your body is one of the best mm -hmm. things you can do. And I just, nobody knew. Mm -hmm. Nobody knew. And I was helping other people to be fit and healthy. And I knew how important that was. You said this was a life-changing moment. It changed yeah. your perspective. I saw you before, and you are the most optimistic person <laughs> in the world. How did that diagnosis change you? I think, if I'm completely honest, I lost some of my innocence in life. Mm -hmm. And I think I have a joy that's on a deeper level. I understand that people go through really tough things in life. 
you never know what somebody else is going through. I think I'm a big example of that. People that came to my classes had no idea. People that take my rides at home had no idea. Mm -hmm. And maybe my life looked sparkly mm -hmm. on screen. And I think it's allowed me to be kinder, to just look at life as in the way that, that it's so fragile and it's mm -hmm. so precious and to enjoy every small moment. Mm. I know you got a really good piece of advice from one of your nurses. Mm -hmm. I was hoping you could share it because I think it could be really valuable mm -hmm. to people listening. Yeah, my a fabulous nurse that I had, Una, really lovely Irish lady, she said to me, cancer is a mental game. Your body will do what it has to do but your mind, you have to get that in check. And she said that to me on the day that I was diagnosed mm. and something in my mindset switched on that day. Mm. And those words laid the foundation of how I showed up during my treatment. And the mental side of it is actually the side that's really kicking in now. Mm. Once your body has been through the treatment, it's not over. Everyone says, oh, I'm so pleased you're through mm -hmm. that. But actually, there's a whole new side of it that's just beginning, mm -hmm. learning to trust your body again, mm -hmm. health anxiety. So I think knowing that it's OK if, if cancer takes a toll mentally, that's why sharing and talking about it will make people feel less alone. Mm -hmm. Well, sharing is really important and yeah. courageous. Yeah. Thank you, Leanne. Thank you. Leanne. I'm so glad you're feeling good, too. Thank you. And we can find more on her journey on our website, today.com. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific, on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day, or click the link right here.